tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer animation. Computer. Computer. Started with animation. Hi there, Maya is currently rendering with a graphics card, and uh, this is the render view. It's a pretty grainy resolution. It's I think uh, anti-aliasing is only set to four, so we won't be very satisfied with the grain in the background once it's finished. We're currently at frame 65 and now 66. Uh, the graphics card takes about 14 seconds for each image so it will be ready in a, about an hour or so. Down here you see the slider here for how fast it renders 0, 100, then just the extra passes 1, 2, 3, 4 and then up to frame 68. The graphics card in this computer is a pretty cheap one which I bought about well maybe in 2015 and uh, or 16 and um, it does an amazing job really because this takes about eight times longer when you use it use the CPU and uh, with 10 frames to render <laughs> this is a quite significant whether it takes one minute or ten minutes. Okay uh, once it's finished I'll show you how I created this scene and in the meantime I show you this website here it's uh, mainframe.co.uk and you find ProSets here it's been released in I think early 2018 and it's a very nice tool which creates complex geometry out of uh, just very simple polygon objects and that's what basically um, this tutorial is about it's not my first tutorial about using ProSets uh, uh, but I s kind of forgot about it because I set up the computer uh, brand new so with it with an operating system so I had to reinstall everything and I forgot about ProSets. Initially it cost £20, now it costs £40 and uh, I think it's worth um, worthwhile trying it out. I have no affiliation with Mainframe whatsoever but I really appreciate their work not because of ProSets but because of MASH. They are the folks who create MASH in Maya. Work? That looks all very mashy here. They're based in London and Manchester. Let me show you ProSets in action. Right mouse click here and we create a helix. Press the key F to get close to the helix and right mouse button material, new material and we create an Arnold standard surface shader with a color of a light blue. Remember maybe from other tutorials or from your previous knowledge there here's a node where I can change the basic settings of the polyhelix which is a very powerful node really because you can add coils change the height the width and the radius by the way because of construction history you can change these things later now we do something nice we select a vertex important we select a vertex we need to just remember that we did a vertex manipulation and we select one of them actually deselect that one and then go to this icon here which is extrude we extrude this and it pokes out into the air and we just leave it like this right mouse click object mode you see that it's integrated in in this geometry and it's just a single thing sticking out and we want to get rid of the single one and it will produce many of them that's where P comes in the process I can hear if you don't have it here go to create and down here you have mainframe labs that's the people who created mash and create uh, and process create a, a process that's what we do in the attribute editor you see this empty field where it tells you drag a mesh or modeling node in here. We drag with a middle mouse button the polyhelix in here. Middle mouse is important because if you uh, choose the left mouse button for example you 
lose the selection of the Pro Set, you have the P helix here, no space to drop the node in here. You have this important window. If you ignore it, the whole process won't start. Here is a list of your manipulations of that geometry and you, the only manipulation you've done so far is you extruded a vertex. So we select it and continue. So we have the entry right here and that sticky thing, that pokey thing is gone. Important now is basically only one more step. It's this one here, component mode, face, edge or vertex. I think this is a really unnecessary. We should for a 40 pound piece of software, we should have uh, the elegance that it only shows us the vertex now because it knows we dealing with vertices. Uh, it doesn't have an effect at all. The, the whole, all the parameters are just useless uh, for face and edge in our case because we did a vertex manipulation. And now you can do this and that's exactly what I've just showed you in the rendering. You look at it from the top and uh, reduce this value again. It's such a nice, such a nice uh, animation. Of course, you can set keyframes here. That's what I'm going to do. Go to frame one per percentage to zero. Go to the frame 120. Set the a percentage to 100. Set a key. And now I go a little bit, little bit further away, and I have this nice animation. In addition to this, you can do other manipulations, of course. Um, right mouse click face. Let's delete that face. So we have a hole in here. No other holes anywhere. Right mouse click. Object mode, new pro set. This is the pro set 2 now. It wants to have a mesh. We select the same helix as before with the middle mouse button, and this time we want to use the delete component action. Continue. And now we need to go to face. It is set to face by default, but uh, if we had done a manipulation with an edge, it would we had to have to choose edge here and now <laughs> you see the whole uh, helix disappears because we did that delete function so what we can do now is of course go to maybe frame 35 set a percentage here set a keyframe here set the same keyframe here and in the middle frame 60 we just Move this to 100. So this is how it goes now. Maybe a little bit quick, but you get the point. Well, I'll now show you some renderings of the previous scene, which uh, I started the tutorial with. And as I've said before, I don't earn a cent from you purchasing this plugin. But I think it's worth considering that that something like this exists and you can do amazing things as you can see here. I never expected this kind of geometry here by uh, just starting out with this simple extrusion. And uh, it leads to uh, results which are quite surprising and can lead into a direction where you want to actually do your modeling or your aesthetics or your art. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.